Okay, as many of you probably already know, North Carolina is a super underrated dairy state. I could easily do a top 10 chocolate milks from North Carolina, uh, but this is a more condensed top five version. And you might even get a sneak peek at the new haircut. Okay, so before we get to the top five, just know that numbers 10 through six are delicious as well, kind of anchored by three North Carolina-based private label grocery store brands, the Fresh Market, of course, Harris Teeter, and Lowe's Foods. I've also got Maple View Farm, which is delicious as well, and gets out of Hillsboro, North Carolina. And also, of course, Ran Lou Dairy, which uh, is in Snow Camp, and it's definitely a place that I need to visit next time. I haven't been out there, because uh, that's some of the most unique chocolate milk I've had of the 1,400 plus that I've had so far, and I definitely want to give it another try. Number five. Simply Natural Creamery in Ormondsville, North Carolina, East Central near Aden and Greenville. Uh, came all the way out here, it's a brilliant place, really nice creamery inside with some great ice cream as well, which you did have, and picked up some Sim Simply Natural Creamery chocolate milk, which you can't wait to try. Uh, it's all Jersey cows here, so they've got that going for them. All right, so how is this stuff? Brilliant consistency, uh, it's not as thick feeling as some of the other Jersey milk stuff that I've had, which for me is a, uh, a positive thing. I don't like it when it's too overly thick, although I understand that Jersey cows tend to have a higher fat content. Uh, it's great, it's not overly sweet. You do get the chocolate in there, just it is a very indulgent feeling. Yeah, I could get used to drinking this, and I'm gonna have to because I bought several of these, and the folks here were very nice. Big shout out to Simply Natural Creamery out here. You guys are doing a good thing. Number four. Mills River Creamery in Mills River, North Carolina is just outside of Asheville. I've recently done a separate video specific to just Mills River, which uh, I'll link to above as I initially received it in the mail and, and tried it after it sat for about five days outside of refrigeration. But then just a few months later, I got to actually head out to the creamery and uh, do an in-person visit. So that's what this footage is from. And man, that doesn't disappoint. It's got that deliciously buttery quality to it, which Again, both delivers and sustains the cocoa flavor. It's got a thicker texture, but it's one of those thicknesses that is 100% warranted by the cream content and the feel of the stuff is absolutely gorgeous. Worth anyone's trip out here to Western Carolina. Number three. Okay, I'm at Homeland Creamery in Julian, North Carolina. Uh, this is stuff that I've had before and I love it. I've actually referenced it in uh, several other videos. Let's go in and get some. All right, just shook it up. Uh, it's been a long day. It's been a long chocolate milk free day for me so far, which is pretty rare, but this is gonna make it all worth it. Oh my God, yeah. You still get a, a super strong punch up front and the flavor lasts for a long time and, and in the aftertaste holds it very well. Uh, yeah, I have maybe sometimes a, a little bit different of a uh, chocolate milk taste than some people, um, just by virtue of having had it so much. I, I do prefer a darker, less sweet, uh, sometimes in a more stronger grassy cream taste than others. But if there was a chocolate milk that I had to give to somebody who may or may not be super into chocolate milk, one that they're gonna absolutely love, this would be on that extremely short list of Try this one, guaranteed anybody's gonna like this. If you don't like this, then you don't like chocolate or you don't like milk and just forget about it. Um, but it's one of those ones that has has those, you know, it's sweet, but it's very chocolatey and it's got a nice, densely flavorful feel. I think that most people who would try this if they're used to the supermarket brands would be like, this has gotta be the best chocolate milk on earth to them. And it is delicious stuff. I have a feeling I will be back here at some point in the future, uh, just due to the proximity of where I usually go in North Carolina. So uh, it was an awesome visit and yeah, the chocolate milk is still everybody as delicious as, uh, as it was the first time I tried it and more people should know about it. Wholesome Country Creamery in Hamptonville, North Carolina. Number two. Yeah, I didn't want to take too much video out there. It's a, I'm not sure if it's a Mennonite or Amish family. I just didn't, didn't want to be obtrusive with that. Yeah, I've had this a while ago. It was available in Lake Norman uh, Whole Foods, which is just north of Charlotte. Mm. Uh, it's got such a 
well-developed cream flavor and it's not homogenous so it's got that dusty bubble kind of a look which is gorgeous to me and it's got a fairly grassy flavor a grassy sort of buttery flavor to the cream which I really enjoy and the cocoa you know it just melds well with the cocoa it's brilliant stuff I really enjoy this wholesome wholesome country creamery stuff it's brilliant I don't love the word wholesome I think I brought that up before it's wholesome country creamery I do not like the word wholesome uh, it's always kind of I don't know why I don't know if I don't like what it stands for or what it typically stands for it's just always been kind of offensive Anyway, when you choose Highland, you choose 75 years of wholesome... Oh, God, there's that word again. Um, but that's that's on me. Uh, remarkably simple but delicious stuff that they got here, and uh, it's worth every penny that you pay for it. Oh, but man, this stuff is super good. Cheek Road in Fleetwood, North Carolina. Number one. Okay, I am at Cheek Farmstead Creamery in Fleetwood, North Carolina. I just came down from Virginia where I picked up Cheek Farmstead Creamery chocolate milk at the farmhouse market there in Sugar Grove, Virginia. It's a lovely spot. It was it's been open a little less than a year, but it's really nice in there, and they do sell both Duchess chocolate milk and Cheek Farmstead Creamery chocolate milk. Just happened to interact on Instagram and was invited here. Happy to go out, of, not out of my way, but I changed course to come down here, and I'm glad I did. It's a fantastic place. I picked up an apple pie, too, for the road. This stuff looks lovely. I kind of want to drink it there, but I'll just have some here as well. Why not? Got to shake it up. It does separate. It's four ingredients. Just milk, sugar, cocoa, and salt. It's kind of in my good graces for that alone. I love that I means simplicity. We all want to believe that chocolate milk is three ingredients within reason. And uh, when it's not, when it strays too far from that, yeah, it still can maybe taste good, but there's just something lacking. You know, you're lacking that connection to what chocolate milk maybe really should be or the, the congruence between what it is in your mind and then what it is in your mouth. Here we go. Oh, I love it. Very, it's a very mature, dark chocolate flavor. Uh, there's not a lot of sweetness, and they did warn me about that. And one of the guys in there was buying chocolate milk, and he was buying the Duchess, and says that and this wasn't so much his speed. I get it. I love this kind of thing. It's sweeter than the Sweet Rowan Farmstead chocolate milk that I recently had in Vermont, which has a similar profile, actually, and similar, uh, yeah, ingredient profile. Man, was that stuff good as well. So this is very similar to that, but I'd say a little bit sweeter but still not nearly as sweet as your run-of-the-mill chocolate milk. Um, and it doesn't need to be because it's got the creamy indulgence and a really strong, mature, darker chocolate flavor, which I really like. This is awesome stuff. Um, I, yes, yes. Yes. Woo! So if you're anywhere near the area, Sugar Grove Highway in Sugar Grove, Virginia, come by uh, the farmhouse market. Christy and company are brilliant and super hospitable and they got a really nice thing going on there. They got great products in there. Uh, can't wait to sink my teeth into that apple pie. Um, so yeah, it actually is gonna go rather well with a non-overly sweet chocolate milk. So it ends up being a pretty good pairing. Feel like I lucked out here. And thanks again to Christy, Waller Dairy, the farmhouse market for reaching out and letting me know about this. Cheers. And when I was just in there uh, chatting with the guys, uh, Rodney and sons Trayton and Brandon and man these are some super cool dudes uh, out here making delicious chocolate milk and believe me I wouldn't say that if it wasn't true if I didn't like it in Virginia I wouldn't have come out here uh, to visit but it, this is super underrated stuff I think people don't I don't know if the, the words gotten out yet oh man it's super chocolatey and it's that mature type of flavor. I think I already talked about the flavor profile, but I, it's worth reiterating. There's an effortless simplicity to it, which is delicious and it comes through. You can pronounce everything on the label. Cheers again to the guys bottling the milk up there in the, in the milk house. They're creating a truly delicious product in chocolate milk. This one's not to be missed. It's a little bit strange that such a quote unquote simple product with four ingredients 
can still have such a unique taste. You see the chocolate at the bottom, the cream at the top, you shake it up, it mixes in beautifully, uh, and you get a really brilliant, indulgent cocoa drink. If you don't like chocolate, then go somewhere else. But if you do, come here. Cheap Farmstead Creamery, really good stuff. It sounds like a, com a commercial. Uh, I can assure you, there's, a, there's no payment or anything like that. It's just, I really believe in certain products, and this is one of the ones that I would highly endorse. Uh, it's not overly sweet, it's very chocolatey, the cream is excellent, it's awesome stuff, well done. And you might even get a sneak peek at the new haircut. Pretty sure nobody's gonna care about that. It's really cute out here, peaceful. Pardon me. <laughs> this I'm actually gonna be headed to Cheek. Uh, I'm actually gonna be headed to Cheek Farmstead. <laughs> it's hard to say that. You know, some Cheek Farmstead. Cheek Farmstead. I still can't say it. Cheek Farmstead Creamery Chocolate Milk. If you don't like chocolate, then go somewhere else. 